Hello everybody, we have just returned from Las Vegas, Nevada, where Flight Sim Expo was this weekend, and I brought the camera along to document the entire trip. It started out on the tarmac, we are boarding this Southwest flight. I've been on many of Southwest flights, but never one where you actually board the back of the plane. So that was fun to kick off a trip like this to get up close to the 737 like that. But yeah, just a quick one hour flight over. It was pretty hot in Las Vegas um, this weekend, uh, 100 some days, and um, yeah, just a really dry heat that you just kind of get used to. But all the buildings are air conditioned very well, and uh, most of the time we're indoors for the expo, so it's not too big of a deal. But yeah, this is uh, after landed in Las Vegas, approaching the baggage claim, and um, yeah, and then what, one thing that's changed in Vegas since I was last there is there's a lot more Uber and Lyft designated pickup spots, and it's super easy to get around the city just using Uber and Lyft. So this is when we uh, arrived at the Flamingo, we were met by Greg, and um, X-Plane 11 uh, actually had hotel keys made, so that was really cool. Uh, the rooms were really nice, I liked uh, staying in, in them, this was just uh, the basic room. But hardwood floors, I kind of like the, the pink thing they had going on uh, because it's the Flamingo. And a uh, pretty decent view. It's, it was nice at night once uh, all these buildings light up when the sun goes down. So yeah, overall, really nice, comfortable room. And uh, the hotel was uh, pretty decent. Not a bad place to stay at all. Um, after that, got settled, heading up to or down to the third floor where it is time to set up for uh, Flight Some Expo. This is Friday. Not much uh, set up yet. This is what it looked like um, prior to all that. We're getting our stand set up with the uh, couple of FS Elite banners. This is me checking out directory. Uh, since they had made a lot of updates, I hadn't uh, used it since those. So uh, Greg was going over all the, the new features and how to use it. So we knew how to explain it to people tomorrow. And uh, once all that was done, we uh, went out on the town, went out to Margaritaville. And hunt out there as a team. Uh, these guys are uh, having fun. Um, of course, we uh, sat under an uh, airplane, so I had to show that. But yeah, pretty cool restaurant, um, some decent food. And then it was back to the Flamingo, hunt out uh, by the fire pit. She did that both nights, and that was uh, pretty nice to do. And uh, pretty soon, 7.15 rolled around. Time to get ready for the expo. Long day, got the shirts all ready there. And you gotta make the Starbucks rung, so got everybody Starbucks. That club is actually from the second day, but I used it uh, here because it looks uh, looks nice. Uh, this is right as it's about to get kicked off. There's tons of people uh, in this room right now. This is where the uh, speaking started about the product announcements. And this is pretty much the intro. They had a nice uh, little montage that played before it got going, but uh, yeah, these guys are uh, put together a real nice thing, super organized. Uh, Pilot Edge speaking here, and then of course we have the FS Elite guys, Callum and David, um, talking about the release of Directory, which uh, definitely stay tuned for more about that, going over some of our stats. We have had a, have a really successful year, and uh, really proud of uh, what we've, we've done. Uh, I have Infinite Flight here, learned a lot of things uh, from that presentation that was really cool to hear, and there was a bunch more uh, presentations here, I didn't get all of them. Uh, one I really liked was with uh, Flight Shops. This one was about uh, real-world aviation comparing to uh, uh, simulators. It was really cool to hear that. And then uh, pretty much after uh, presentations, um, I just started uh, heading around the floor and checking out all the cool things to see. A lot of nice panels for sale that you could just go around and buy. Some of them you could even build yourself. They had little parts. That was really cool. This was my favorite sim in the whole expo. I really enjoyed flying this one. This one really had a good feeling. Um, this is uh, taking off, had the pedals, had everything. Uh, everything was so smooth. The controls was uh, definitely the best uh, best thing I used. I just kind of took off, flew the pattern, and landed. I don't want to take up too much time with, uh, with these things because I know there's other people that want to use them. So, yeah, I just did the pattern. And then it was on over to the Flight Beam booth where we interviewed Flight Beam and uh, countless other people who you will be seeing on the FS Elite channel. Make sure you keep checking back to uh, get all those. This is the FS Elite booth after it was all set up. We had lollipops out. We had little, uh, we had business cards and things uh, with our stats. And of course, uh, directory set up for everybody to try. Um, Greg did a great job. It was rest, you know, the, other, the rest of the team too, um, showing people and showcasing uh, directory. Um, 
but yeah, the floor was uh, was packed with people, all kinds of people. It was a great event. Um, you guys definitely got to try to make it out to whatever it is next year, whatever you're doing. Uh, try to make it out to these events. They keep getting bigger and better. And if you love simulators, you will have a blast at these things. Uh, especially having it in Vegas, that was um, just a really good time. I, I, I've had so much fun just hanging out with these guys, hanging out with the friends. Uh, you know, all the... Um, you know, like-minded people, and, you know, before you know it, wait it all year for it, and then it's over, so this is, uh, my flight out of Las Vegas today, but yeah, overall, just a really good event, it was so nice to meet everybody, uh, people that have been following my channel, or FS Elite, all the developers, Josh from TFDI, and, and, um, you know, just, uh, just so many people that we got to hang out with all weekend, um, uh, and then, and, you know, once the expo ends, it doesn't really end. You know, we all hang out at the hotels and go out to dinner and, you know, just, uh, just you know, spend the whole weekend together. So it's nice to do these these more. Hopefully I can be at Cosford and uh, do the same thing. That was, uh, that was a great event last year, too. Uh, but, yeah, looking forward to wherever the next uh, Flight Sim Expo is. But these events are just getting so much bigger, and it's just uh, really cool to see it grow and to see, you know, the whole ecosystem of flight simulation all kind of together in one room, all the different personalities, and it's just, uh, you know, it just you can't beat it. So if you love this stuff, try to make it out if you can. Uh, if not, I'm going to keep making these videos. I try to make the video... Uh, you know, to kind of immerse you in what the whole experience was like, you know, not just at the expo, but the travel and, and the, you know, the things after, you know, that's really what I try to capture with these. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I can't wait for next year. So great to, uh, to uh, spend time with the FS Elite team, uh, talk to these guys pretty much every day, work with them all year, and it's nice to see each other at the, uh, at the expo. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. You take care.